Hi friends, Life Coach Keish here. Don't leave without liking, subscribing, and sharing. Hello friends, we are back for another Cooking and Cocktails with me, Life Coach Keish, tonight. Um, as you guys can see, I upgraded and got myself a little blue apron. I will say though, this one is denim, um, which is kind of weird, but I like it. It works. I hope you guys are going to tune in tonight and are with us as we embark on a new blue apron meal. This week, we are going to make the turkey and mushroom lettuce cups. So you guys can see that. So again, guys, a reminder, because I am a WW Weight Watchers girl, um, this Blue Apron thing has been a blessing to me because I'm always concerned about um, making like new meals, fun meals that are healthy, um, however, like a little bit different. So let's see what we got this week. So the turkey and mushroom lettuce cups with peanut soy sauce. So it says it takes like 30 to 40 minutes. So make sure your cups are full. I have upgraded from solo cups because I'm a lady. So these are my Ray Dunn disposable cups, which I really love. Um, these are cheers and they make them um, that say all kinds of stuff, but I really love this. Um, anyway, and in this cup tonight though is Pepsi, Diet Pepsi. So yeah. Um, all right. So if you are on WW, this particular meal is 11 points across the board. So whether you're on green, blue, or purple, this meal is 11 points, um, which is actually pretty good for dinner time, depending on how many points you get a day. Uh, for me, I usually like to spend like 15, 15, and 15, meaning 15 points in the morning, 15 points in the afternoon, 15 points at night. Uh, but that's just like my little rule of thumb. As always, my assistant, Diamond, is in the background. So if you guys hear her, just say, hey, girl, because she is here. Um, and I'm sure she'll bark at some point. So hello to everyone. I see you guys as you're coming in. Um, thank you for joining me. So in this recipe, it calls for ground turkey, which they sent me the ground turkey. Super fresh. Blue Apron is so good, like, with this fresh thing, y'all. Uh, one poblano pepper which I have here, one teaspoon, excuse me, one tablespoon of smooth peanut butter spread. I'm not using that. My husband is deathly allergic to peanuts and I will not be killing him tonight. So we're not gonna use the peanut butter. Two tablespoons of soy glaze, which they gave me in the knickknack bag. One head of butter lettuce, which I washed already and stuck into my bowl. Four ounces of mushrooms, which they sent me as well. One tablespoon of rice vinegar, which is in the knickknack bag. Three tablespoons of roasted peanuts. Again, we're not killing Lavelle, so no peanuts. One Persian cucumber, two cloves of garlic, and one tablespoon of sambal olique. All right. As always, guys, this is the picture that we are aiming for. Keep us in prayer as we go through this and see if it actually looks like that. They do have the pictures for me on the back here. So, um, again, there is a note to the chef. That's me. Try these WW Pro tips. Skip adding salt. Um, I don't use salt anyway. We discovered that the last time, so... No more notes for me. I guess from there, I just got to get started. So, of course, prepare the ingredients. Like I said, I washed everything because I didn't want to take up no extra time washing vegetables and stuff with you guys. Now, because of my slight piece of um, being neurotic when it comes to things being clean in the kitchen, I'll likely, like, throw them underneath the sink again. That's just a, a me thing. Not a necessary thing, but a me thing. Um, and then it says to have the cucumber lengthwise thinly slice crosswise so let's get started here's my cucumber which again y'all I just love this like individually packed thing I think I told y'all before I hate like food to just like touch unnecessarily so I really really love that like everything is super individual so <clears throat> I want to be 
sure I get the right knife because in my first video, the last video we did, I just felt like I did not use the right knives and it was just like giving me the devil. So anyway, as always, I'm cutting off the ends because I just do not like the ends to things. It's really weird for me. So I'm just going to cut them off because I don't know. It just, are y'all freaked out by the ends of the stuff? I just be thinking about like where it lived on the earth, like before it got, it's too much. I know, but let's chop these cucumbers up thinly. As Diamond eats behind me. My dog can just be so rude, y'all. Like, she knows that there is a whole live going on. And now she wants to come in here and eat. Like, sis, you had hours upon hours to do this. But you want to do it now. Okay. Clearly, she owns me. And I'm just responsible for walking and feeding. I'm sure other dog parents out there can completely understand that. Um, all right, the other half. Let's see here. What are you guys making for dinner tonight? I'm very interested to know. Um, especially if they're like fun, healthy meals, because clearly I'm about that life. Um, and I would really like to get some ideas. So if you guys have some good stuff, please let me know. I would appreciate it. Okay, this. Okay, so sidebar. Do you guys ever get to like your last cut and like are afraid to slice your hand off so you just like leave the last piece big because I do that all the time I'm actually gonna throw it out since it gave me the thinly sliced like instruction but I, that happens to me all the time I get to like that last piece of fruit or whatever and I can never cut it because I'm like girl you are totally gonna take a finger off so we're just gonna throw that piece away That'll be that. great cucumbers cut now, it says that I need to cut the mushrooms into bite-sized pieces. Okay. These mushrooms are like big, y'all. So, I'm, I'm going to see what I can do about these. Let's see if it works. all of these it says four ounces of mushrooms but this just seems like a lot of mushrooms but I guess I guess we'll see again y'all I'm cutting the ends off it's weird to me to keep that on so that has to go like that little tip that comes on the mushrooms it, it's a no for me so we're gonna get rid of that those little white pieces and like, when I tell y'all these mushrooms are, like, big, these are, like, really big. However, I must say, I am shocked at how many they gave me because I had mentioned to y'all before, Blue Apron is a stickler for the serving size. Like, there is no overeating, like, them two carrots that they gave me last week. So, this is actually, um, oh, sidebar, these cut really easily. See? I usually buy my mushrooms pre-cut. But anyway, I digress. I was telling y'all um, last week about like my two little carrots or whatever that they gave me. Um, and I couldn't believe that they just gave me two. Um, and then this week they sent me all these mushrooms. So maybe the Blue Apron guys heard me, y'all, and was like, let's just give her a little extra. Even though like this is a lot. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I see the comments about my blue apron. Y'all see me? I thought it was cute. Uh, probably a little bit extra, but I mean, that's my personality, so that's fine too. Um, but I thought it was really cute. Uh, almost done with the mushrooms. And then we are going to move on to the garlic clove. And I guess... And chop that up, crush that, mince that, however it is that they want it. 
Now, sidebar, y'all, I really do seriously have mushrooms that are already cut in my refrigerator right now because that's how I buy them. I also already have garlic that's minced. But because I want to be properly making these uh, recipes with you guys, I'm not going to pull out the cheat code. But let me just tell you something. If y'all were not uh, with me on this journey, I would definitely pull out the cheat code and pull out the stuff that's already like cut and ready to go because... The tedious nature of cooking and me don't jive well. Um, but shout out to all the chefs. Like I have some friends who are amazing chefs um, who like do this thing for real, for real. And it just amazes me some of just the masterpieces um, that they make. And I'm sure that there is a lot of tedious cutting and chopping and all that kind of stuff that goes into that as well. But me, mm -mm, I like ease. It's another reason why Blue Apron works for me because most of these recipes take like under an hour and that's about all my cooking attention span can handle. So with that being said, mushrooms done. Alrighty, throw away my ends and throw these into a bowl. See y'all, it's a lot of mushrooms. I guess that's fine. Okay. All right, mushrooms done. I'm gonna take a sip. I hope you guys are too, because whew, cutting up the mushrooms was stressful. Okay, next I need to peel and roughly chop two cloves of garlic. Maybe I should have Googled what roughly chop means. Um, Cause I don't wanna get too aggressive with a knife. So let's figure that out. All right, I have two cloves of garlic here which I'm going to peel um, and roughly chop. Let's see, whatever that means. Um, so typically on the cooking channel, they like open it with the side of the knife. Oh. Now I see why they do it. Okay. So that's done. And then here we go. Peel this thing. Y'all have no idea how badly I want to use the cheat code to just go into this refrigerator and get the garlic that's already ready. But again, I'm trying to be good. Follow directions. I'm cutting the ends off of this too, y'all. That's weird for me too. It smells so good. I love the smell of fresh garlic. Hello, hello to those who are joining us. Once again tonight, we are cooking the turkey and mushroom lettuce cups from my second Blue Apron delivery, which I'm excited about. Um, although we're pescatarian, like we do definitely slide in some like chicken breasts, the, like the white meat and um, like turkey products from time to time. I'll also make a lamb chop every now and then just because I really like lamb. Um, so maybe we're like partial pescatarians because I definitely uh, am willing to try some other things or incorporate some other things. Cause like I said, food can get, healthy food can get boring and so you know, I'm always looking for ways to just kind of keep it interesting. So I guess I'm roughly chopping this, y'all. I don't really know what rough chop means. I am going to Google that, though, just so that, like, I'm prepared for next week in case the thing calls for roughly chop something else. Okay, 
so my garlic is chopped. And now it says cut off and discard the root end of the lettuce and separate the leaves. Okay. So my lettuce is still a little bit wet um, from me washing it earlier. So let me just move the garlic into the bowl. And now separate the lettuce leaves. Which honestly, y'all, I just cut the root off and like it's separating on its own. So let's get this. Yeah, I literally cut the root off and these are like literally falling apart, like falling right off, which that's really nice. You know what's funny too, y'all? Like I, I order lettuce cups like a lot if we go out to eat. And I always was like, my lettuce does not look like this at home, which I typically buy romaine lettuce. Um, I'm like, my lettuce never looks like this. Like, how could I get these cups? Now I know the trick is this butter lettuce to give you that, like that circular cup piece to be able to have. So, um, these last little pieces, they might be teasers, but, um, I'll put them on here anyway. Okay. I don't know, but the middle part's a little strange for me. So we're just gonna throw that out. All right, we've got everything chopped up now that we need chopped. Looks like step one is complete. So we take a sip. All right. Oh, y'all, I lied, it's not. Okay, wait. Uh, roughly chop the peanuts. Okay, we're not doing that because I'm not killing my husband. He has a peanut allergy, so we're not doing that. Um, cut off and discard the stem of the pepper. Half lengthwise, remove the ribs and seeds, then thinly slice crosswise. Thoroughly wash your hands immediately after handling. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm not trying to burn myself with this poblano pepper. So, let me get a thing for this too. And remove this. And then I tend to like wash seeds out of peppers sometimes, um, just because I feel like it can be a little bit easier than like trying to peel out all of them and then whatever is like stuck then I'll like pull that out so all right let's move quickly uh, cut it in here oh yeah y'all I can like smell the heat coming off of this pepper and I think it might make me cough <clears throat> Whew. all right quickly Keisha all right, maybe I'm going to avoid the, even though I really like poblano peppers, but, oh, Jesus, this is a, come on, quickly. Again, poblano pepper is something that I enjoy in food, just something that I typically um, wouldn't buy on my own, so. Again, I'm always very excited um, about getting ingredients that, like, I enjoy eating. I just don't typically purchase for whatever reason. All right. Okay. And, of course, I'm throwing away the ends. All right. Now I said wash my hands immediately. So, let's do that. 
this apron on because I can just kind of like whoop and be done cool okay now I'm in a bowl whisk together the peanut butter spread soy glaze half the vinegar two same two teaspoons of water and as much of the sambal olique as you'd like now because I'm not going to use any of the peanut stuff um I'm going to see and hopefully, well, we're just going to pray that the sauce still tastes good, even though I'm not using the peanut stuff. So actually, let's throw the peanut stuff out um, so I don't accidentally use that stuff. Um, all right, that's gone. So what I'm going to whisk together then is... The soy glaze, which is here, the two teaspoons of water, and half of this vinegar. So let's let's roll with this. And hopefully it still tastes good. I don't think it should make that much of a difference. Or maybe I'm just trying to make myself believe that. And it says that I need to whisk this together. I do have a whisk, y'all, but it's kind of big. So we're going to use a spoon. Because this is like not a lot of stuff. So I don't really think I need to pull that big whisk out. I think that would be a little bit weird. So we're going to do that. Half of the vinegar. Which, just so y'all know, this is not like filled up. It's like already like half. So... Okay, a little dab will do you. And then as much of this as I would like. I'm assuming this is like hot, cause it smells hot. Ooh, yeah, it's hot, y'all. Okay, well, maybe we'll go a little extra on that. Cause we're not using the peanuts. That sounds good to me. So I'm gonna roll with that. I'm also gonna wash my hands. Okay. Now, as I'm spinning this together, my next step is to marinate the cucumbers. So, the cucumbers that are in that bowl, I'm going to put the remaining vinegar in there and pepper, flip them around, and let them sit. So our sauce is done. Now we pull back out our cucumbers, the rest of the vinegar. Okay. And pull my pepper out. And we'll Spin these around a little bit. Y'all, mine look like the picture. That's the picture. These are mine. Because I'm amazing. All right. We'll let those sit. Now, now's the fun part. We're going to cook the turkey. So, I pulled out my nonstick Ray Dunn frying pan. Fry. Isn't that cute, y'all? It's nine and a half inches, which I find like typically when you buy um, like cooking stuff, they give you like a really big skillet and then they give you like a smaller one. This one is like perfectly in the middle of like the real big one and the small one. And what I learned about these Blue Apron meals last week when I did my first one was that you definitely don't need your biggest pot your biggest frying pan, nothing like that, because the meals themselves like are not that big, like the the portions, because clearly I only order serving for two. So yeah, I would suggest that you guys grab one of these nine and a half inch skillets. 
That's my my little extra chef tip for y'all. Okay, so basically in that pan, I'm gonna put two, two teaspoons of olive oil, um, let it get a little bit warm, and then add the turkey, season it with salt and pepper, so just pepper. And then of course, I'm gonna also throw a little razzle dazzle in there because that's just what I do. Um, and breaking it apart, add half, or excuse me, add a quarter of the sauce to the pan. So that's like that sauce that I just whipped up to the pan and then leave any brown bits in there. And then I'm gonna transfer this, <coughs> excuse me, these peppers y'all. Transfer the turkey into like a little bowl and let it chill um, while I do go to the next step. So. Let's get the turkey done. much I need in there that's that I'm gonna give that like a couple of minutes in the meantime I'm gonna have some of my drink while that's heating up again guys welcome to our second blue apron meal tonight our meal is the turkey and mushroom lettuce cup uh, with peanut soy sauce. I have taken the peanuts out. Um, so it's just going to be with soy sauce. Um, however, I'm really excited for this because it's like a light meal. It's nothing too crazy. Um, only 30 to 40 minutes to make. And so I did learn that that does include your prep time. So me doing all this chopping and marinating and all those other things that I'm doing is included into that 30 and 40 minutes. So that's actually really nice too. Um, Cause I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I just don't have the time for like a really long drawn out meal. So olive oil's warm. Let's get the turkey in. I'm turning a little exhaust fan on low just in case. Pull out my Ray Dunn flip spatula to be able to break this up. I also find just in my personal cooking, turkey meat tends to cook faster than ground beef. So I tend to pay more attention to turkey meat than I would um, ground beef. Not that like I'm just like walking away reading a book if I have ground beef going. But I have found that um, I have to like really keep my eye on turkey meat. So... We'll let it go for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to pull out my edge bowls because we're going to need a place for the turkey to sit. And these edge bowls come with like this little spigot on the end. So when I go to like put turkey meat into my lettuce cups, it'll make it like so much easier. So. It's getting nice and brown, y'all. Put some pepper in here, and then a little razzle dazzle um, that I just feel like is necessary. I have 
actually turkey seasoning. Um, it's like actual turkey seasoning. You guys can see that. I feel like that is very necessary for this recipe, especially because I don't use salt. Although I'm sure y'all just see me put Lowry's in there, right? Like what ethnic household doesn't have it? Just in case of emergency. It's like kind of like, you know, like the hatchet where it's like crack in case of emergency. That's how my Lowry's is. Like if something is getting a little crazy, then I'll throw some Lowry's in there. But I do my best not to because Lowry's too can get like real salty. But anyway, I put my turkey seasoning in here. And we are going to flip this meat like my cute old spatula says. And get it nice and brown. We'll let that go. In the meantime, pull out a plate. And so I'm using this plate this time, guys, simply because they use like an oblong blue plate so I'm doing that too <laughs> even though honestly I did not go out and buy these for this I literally like just have these plates so that's gonna be the plate that we use we're almost done here on the turkey meat and then it's gonna be the vegetables and it looks like once I cook the vegetables then we're going to throw them in to the same bowl that the turkey meat is in and kind of like spit them up because that's the total filling for this particular meal. So we'll let it go probably like another two, three minutes or so. And this turkey meat should be ready to roll. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see the brown pieces starting to form. So I'm supposed to leave those in the pan to cook with the mushrooms, with the, well, the mushrooms and the peppers and the garlic. I guess that's their little razzle dazzle. I like it. I'm here for it. All right. That's looking nice and it is smelling really, really good in here too. If I do say so myself as the chef. Um, okay. What other seasoning do I need here? So, okay, again, it's still gonna be the olive oil and then just all of this stuff. And then of course they call for pepper, salt and pepper, but no salt, just the pepper. And I'm not gonna put any razzle dazzle in the little vegetable mixture because I put the turkey seasoning in here so I don't want to do too much and stray too much all right this is looking like I know what I'm doing y'all I was thinking to myself if I knew about Blue Apron or well I shouldn't say that if Blue Apron had a Weight Watcher or WW Partnership Prior to me meeting my husband, I might have got married even sooner because I would have been cooking these meals and hiding the boxes. He would have been thinking that I was like a miniature Bobby Black because these things honestly are like they look intricate. And I feel like he would have really appreciated that. So we lost a little bit of meat, y'all, because I didn't think about how big this was versus that. It's okay though. I'll know for the next time. Now, let's cook these vegetables. Again, a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And I did not scrape the brown stuff out. So it's in here. The little pieces of like, I guess, burnt meat um, that they were talking about. And now I'm gonna combine mushrooms 
the peppers. And this says three to four minutes for that. Then I'm going to add the garlic and we're going to do that for another two to three minutes. So. These peppers though, y'all, <coughs> excuse me, are hot, hot, clearly, because I'm sneezing. Ooh. All right. Good. Oh, I hope they're like digestible when we go to eat it. I mean, my husband and I like hot stuff, but this is a, uh, this is taking cake. I'm gonna let that go for a little bit. And in the meantime, wash off these dishes. I might have to call in for assistance again, y'all, to move my dish rack. I've been trying to handle this one without calling my assistant, but I think I might need him. Because washing the dishes part and moving it um, is a little complicated. I hope you guys are enjoying and having your drinks while we are cooking this meal directly following of course I'll post a picture um, so that you guys can see what the meal looks like okay y'all I tried to do this without calling my assistant but uh, I'm not really succeeding because this has to go honey let's see I need your assistance. Hello, dear. I washed some of the dishes again and forgot that um, this was going to get in my way. So, could you please say hello to everyone? Hey. It's my assistant, guys. All right. We are at the four minute mark with this. So now we need to add in the garlic. It smells amazing. So this we're gonna let go for like another two or three minutes. And we're almost done guys. Once this is done, I mix this in with the turkey meat, roll it around. Then I put the lettuce on the plate, the filling on the plate, and we're done. This was pretty easy. Now it looks like they have their stuff in like individual bowls. And it looks really cute, but that's a lot of dishes to do. So I think I might leave them, like just leave it together on the side. In fact, let me start putting a little razz dazzle um, on my plate. And you know what, y'all? I forgot to put a quarter of this in the meat while it was cooking, so we'll just do that now. And spin it around. It can't hurt. Because when I put all this stuff together, 
I have to put the remaining sauce in there anyway, so we're good. About another minute for these vegetables. Which again, smell so good. Okay. What I also love about this Ray Dunn frying pan is like the handle does not get hot at all. So like you do not need to worry about um, your like your your hand or like needing like a what do you call it, pot holder for it because it is completely safe which I love that because I'm notorious for like picking up a pan or something and it being hot so here's everything in the bowl I'm gonna put the remaining sauce in here that. I'm going to spin it around. Ooh. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Spun around. It looks amazing. I'm going to put some cute pieces of lettuce on this plate off of my separated lettuce here. Let's use some of them. Let's try to go in size order. That'll be cute, right y'all? So, some lettuce on the plate. And then we're gonna put the filling as these are like do-it-yourself kind of style. there and then we are going to put some of the cucumbers on the sides so it's almost like a little side kind of salad thing going on with the cucumbers which is fun a little bit more of this onto the plate and Again, reference, that's theirs. And this is mine. So without the cups, but it looks good, I think. We are going to try this meal and let you guys know how it tastes. Again, I hope you guys will continue to join me on Sundays as a life coach, as a master life coach at that. It's very important to me that we are walking on journeys of all kinds of wellness. So our spiritual wellness, our emotional wellness, and our physical wellness. Healthy meals tie into that. So we're doing it. Thank you guys so much again for your time and cooking and having cocktails. Cheers to you with me, Coach Keish. I really appreciate you guys so much. This video um, will be posted everywhere and it'll be live on YouTube tomorrow. Please make sure to go over, like, share, subscribe, and do all of that stuff on YouTube uh, as we are going to continue to do this thing with you guys. Please comment um, on any of the social platforms too just to let us know um, how you enjoyed this and I will post a picture directly following so that you guys can see it. Thank you guys so much for your time tonight. I really appreciate you all. Happy Sunday. Have a great week. I'm, that's it.